Hello there, Science Kids! Welcome sa ating new episode ng Grade 4 Science Learning Activities. Handa na ba kayo para sa ating panibagong lesson para sa second quarter? My name is Teacher Lariza at narito na ang ating new episode para sa Grade 4 Science Activities. In our last science episode, you have learned about the major organs of the human body and how they work together. In that episode, you also learned that if we do not take good care of our body, our organs may have diseases and ailments. Therefore, we should eat a balanced diet and have a regular exercise to keep a healthy body. For a quick review, can you identify which of these pictures show proper care to our body? Comment down your answers below this video. Now that we know that our body is composed of different organs that work together to help us do our daily activities, we can now move forward to our next science lesson which is entitled Body Structures of Animals for Adaptation and Survival. There are different animals around us. They live everywhere. Some animals live on land while some animals live in water. Take a look at these pictures. Can you identify which animal do these body parts belong? Take a pause on this video and try to answer this on your notebook. Before going to our lesson for today, let us discuss the different terminologies that you need to understand this science concept. Number one is habitat. Habitat is a place where an organism makes its home. A habitat meets all the environmental condition an organism needs to survive. In Tagalog, ang habitat ay isang lugar kung saan naninirahan ng isang organismo. Ang habitat ay tumutugon sa lahat ng pangangailangan ng isang organismo upang ito ay mabuhay. Number two is adaptation. Adaptation is a process of developing structures or organs for an animal to survive. It is an evolutionary process that fits an organism to its environment. In Tagalog, Ang adaptation ay ang pag-aangkop ng isang organismo sa kanyang kapaligiran sa mamagitan ng pagkabuo ng ilang parte ng kanyang katawan upang siya ay mabuhay at maging angkop sa habitat na kanyang kinabibilangan. Number 3 is Terrestrial Animal. Terrestrial animals are animals that live on land. Or in Tagalog, ang terrestrial animals ay ang mga hayop na naninirahan sa lupa. Number 4 is Aquatic Animal. When we say aquatic animals, these are animals that live in water. In Tagalog, ito ay ang mga hayop na naninirahan sa tubi. Animals have body structures that enable them to live on land or in water. For an example, ang mga animal na naninirahan sa tubig ay may mga parte ng kanilang katawan na tumutulong sa kanila upang sila ay mabuhay sa tubig gaya ng scales, gills, shells, and exoskeleton or outside skeleton. Skills are used for protection against diseases and help them swim underwater. Kaya naman karamihan sa mga isda ay may kaliskis. Lobsters and shrimps have exoskeleton or outside skeleton, while mussels and oysters have shells that aid for body protection. Upang sila ay makahinga sa ilalim ng tubig, sila ay may gills o hasang. Through the years, all animals that live in water are able to adapt as they evolve. Ito ang proseso ng adaptation. On the other hand, terrestrial animals have structures in their body that help them adapt on land. Ang mga structures na ito ay ginagamit nila for protection, movement, and food consumption. Some animals like dogs, cats, and monkeys have fur in their body to keep them warm. Others like birds have feather which they use for flying. Some animals like worm have smooth skin that they use for breathing. In general, body coverings are used for protection. Mayroon ding ibang parte ang mga animals na ginagamit sa paggalaw or movement. Some animals have legs which they use for walking, running, or swimming, while some animals have wings which they use for flying. Animals on land have lungs for breathing. For food consumption, some animals have paws, claws, and mouth parts like beak and teeth which they use to get food. Others have sucking tubes, sticky tongue, and movable jaws. 
ang mga hayop na may magkaparehong mouth parts ay kadalasang magkahalin tulad ang pagkain kinakain. That is why animals are grouped according to the food that they eat. These are herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, and detritivores. Those animals with flat teeth like cow, carabao, and goat feed on grass. They are called herbivores because they feed on plants. Those animals with sharp and pointed teeth like lion and tiger feed on meat or other animals. They are called carnivores. Those animals which feed on both meat and plants are called omnivores. Examples of these animals are bears and birds. Those animals such as earthworms and millipedes which feed on dead or decaying organisms are called detritivores. Now let us try to answer this activity. Study the pictures of animals that live on land and in water. Take a look at their body structures that enable them to adapt on land or in water. Complete the table on your notebook. Sa unang kolum ay susulat ang pangalan ng animal sa bawat pilang. Sa ikalawang kolum naman ay ang body structure na ginagamit nito for adaptation. At sa pangatlong kolum naman ay tutukuyin mo kung saan habitat ito na bibilang. Isulat ang L kung ito ay sa land at W naman kung ito ay sa water. Now, let us proceed to answering activity number 2. Study the body structures of animals in column A. Match the structure that best fits to the animals in column B. Write your answers on your notebook. Animals use body parts to eat. Complete the table below by filling in the correct answer. Do this on your notebook. Now, let us try to answer our fourth activity. Study the picture below. Name at least three animals in the picture, their body parts, and uses of these body parts for their survival. Complete the table below in your notebook. Now, let us proceed to our fifth activity. Study the two given pictures. Name two animals that may have similar teeth based on the illustration. Give an example of food that is likely to be eaten by that animal. Kinakailangan ng mga hayop na proteksyonan ng kanilang sarili mula sa panganib upang sila ay mabuhay. They use different mechanisms and strategies to prolong their life in the wild where strong competition happens. In our last activity, name the body parts of each animal that protect them from any harm in their habitat. Here are the key points of our episode for today. Number one, Habitat is a place where an organism makes its home. Number two, animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals and those animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Number three, animals have body structures that help them adapt and survive in their environment. These structures are used for protection, movement, and food consumption. Now you can check your answers in our activities using this video correction. Do you want to learn more of the different groups of animals? Click the link below this video for a special video lesson about Kingdom Animalia. That's it, Science Kids! I hope you learned something new in our episode for today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe for our upcoming videos. You can also follow me on my different social media accounts for more updates. See you again next week!